Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another updated tutorial. Uh, this one is how to hack your Amazon Dash button. Uh, or basically uh, how to use Amazon Dash buttons to uh, control devices in Home Assistant. I uh, did this video before and I know it got a little outdated. This will be how to set it up on a Haspian install of Home Assistant. Uh, probably about the same no matter uh, what you're running it on, but uh, that's how I have mine set up. Now the Amazon Dash buttons are cheap. They're only like four or five bucks when you get them on Amazon. Uh, so of course that's always a, a, a nice feature to have when you're looking for devices to use in your house. The downside is, of course, there will be a bit of a delay. It will have to connect to the network and of course perform that automation. So there's definitely a little bit of a delay there. Nonetheless, uh, like I said, if you're looking for something cool to just run some scripts or something, uh, send a message or anything around your house, these buttons will certainly work out great for you. So let's do a quick rundown of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, for starters, uh, I'm going to install uh, a little Python script called Amazon Dash Dash. Uh, it's about the same as Dasher, a little bit different. Uh, seems to work better on Hasvian, so uh, I thought I'd give this one a, a try. Uh, next, we'll create a test script that we'll use with this uh, tutorial to test the capability of the Dash button. Uh, once we do that, then we are going to uh, find out what the MAC address is of our Dash button. I'll show you how to do that. After we do that, then we're going to get our dash button added to our uh, Wi-Fi network, our local network there uh, where we're going to be using the button. Once we do that, we will edit the uh, Amazon-config file. Once we have that configured and restarted, we will test out the uh, new dash button script. And of course, as the last couple of things, we're going to go ahead and set up a binary sensor to monitor our uh, new service. And then I'll show you what that uh, binary sensor looks like in Home Assistant. So let's get started. All right, so there's not a lot to installing this new Python setup. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Basically, we're just going to do a sudo pip install Amazon dash dash. Give that a second to finish downloading and installing. And I'll fast forward through this uh, so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Now we're going to install the uh, service file so that we can run uh, this Amazon Dash service uh, using systemctl. So we do that by doing a sudo python dash m amazon underscore dash dot install. Should finish pretty quickly here. And of course I'll have all this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. All right, let's go ahead and create the test script that we're going to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to edit my uh, test scripts.yaml file that I have set up. And I'll just scroll down here and find an empty slot down here at the bottom. Uh, for this test script, I'm just going to call it dash underscore notification. See here, alias. Uh, again, I'm going to do the same thing. We'll just call it uh, dash test notification sequence. Let's see here. The service will be uh, notify.alert underscore Adrian. That's just the notify component that I'm going to be using for this test. And then, of course, the message that I'm going to enter will just say alert. Uh, 
this message was sent from Amazon Dash button. We'll go ahead and save that. Uh, we can go ahead and restart Home Assistant for those changes to take effect. Uh, give that a second to come back up. Now we are ready to uh, get our MAC address of our dash button. We need that in order to fill out the config file. Uh, the easiest way that I know to do it um, is basically you're going to hold down your Amazon dash button until it starts blinking blue. Uh, now once it does that, you should be able to, on your laptop or whatever computer you're using to uh, do the configuration, go into the Wi-Fi settings and you will find a, a ad hoc Wi-Fi network called Amazon Configure Me. Uh, once you connect to that in your uh, browser, you should be able to just go to HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.0.1 and of course it'll come up with Amazon dash device info and that second entry there of course is the MAC address so from that we can just copy that because we're going to use that in our configuration we'll save that for later let's go ahead and get our dash button added to our Wi-Fi network. You do that by using the Amazon Prime app on your phone. So if you hit the three bars at the top and you scroll down to where it says your dash buttons, uh, we're going to hit add and we'll set up a new device and we'll choose dash button. And then, of course, it'll say agree and get started. So you'll click on that. And it's going to tell you to do that same thing again. You're going to hold that dash button until it starts blinking blue. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and hit connect on your phone. And it'll take it a second to connect to that dash button. And you just choose whatever Wi-Fi network you want to connect to. So we're going to say continue. Once it's good, you'll get that green check mark. Hit my thumbprint here. All right, at this point, it's gonna say choose a product, just exit out of it, because obviously we don't want to connect it to an, any item on Amazon Prime. And now we are done adding it to our Wi-Fi network. Let's move on to the next section. Alright, so here we are. We're going to edit our Amazon dash config file. Uh, that is stored by default in Etsy. So we'll do a uh, sudo vim etsy slash amazon dash dash dot yml. And it will probably come up and have a bunch of examples in there. I've already removed all that. So I'm just going to scroll down here under devices. All right, so now we can paste that MAC address that we had earlier. And of course you have to have it separated by colons. So every two digits will be a colon. So go ahead and add all these colons in there. We're going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to call it test dash button. Now the URL, this will be the URL that I want it to, um, to use. So I'm, of course I'm using the uh, 
Home Assistant API. And so I'll put in the web address of my Home Assistant server, slash API, slash services, slash script, slash turn underscore on. Uh, the method will be post. The headers is going to be x dash ha dash access. Now this will be my Home Assistant uh, API key. So I'll put that in here. Content dash type. This will be JSON. Now, on the body, all I really need is the entity ID that I want to turn on. Uh, so I'm going to say entity ID, and then the entity will be script dot dash underscore notification. That's the one we set up earlier. And I'll have all this in the uh, in the description, so you can copy and paste it and modify it as you need to. Once we get all of that in there, we're going to go ahead and save it. And now we need to restart our uh, Amazon Dash service. So we'll do that. Just a sudo systemctl restart Amazon Dash Dash dot service. And let's go ahead and uh, enable it so that it will uh, start up when we restart the computer. So it created that sim link there as well. And let's go ahead and check the status and make sure everything looks okay. And of course everything looks good here, so I think we're good. All right, let's go ahead and test out this new script and see how it works. So I got my text box here on my computer so I can receive messages. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push this button. You can see it start blinking there and look, message popped in. We'll go ahead and click on it, make sure that's the right one. Alert, this message was sent from my dash button. It works, that's what we needed it to do, it looks great. Obviously, you can use it to do anything. I used it for this, so it'll, uh, you know, play around with it as you need to. Now, as an extra, like I said, I like to uh, create uh, binary sensors to monitor some of these services to make sure they stay up and running. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. If you've watched any of my other videos, and of course you probably already know how to do it, but uh, it's basically going to be the same as the one you already see there for Fire TV server, um, but this one of course will be for our new Amazon dash dash service. Uh, the platform is command underscore line. The name will be Amazon dash uh, command going to be uh, system CTL status Amazon dash dash dot service and we're going to pipe that into an awk command and again we only want to print that third line so we're going to do a print dollar three device class will be connectivity uh, payload underscore on will be uh, running and payload underscore off will be dead. 
Once we get all that in there, we'll go ahead and save that. And of course, now we can go ahead and restart Home Assistant one more time for these changes to take effect. The sudo system ctl restart home dash assistant dot service. Give that a second to come back up. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like in action. As you can see there, uh, there's my Amazon Dash sensor. It shows connected. Of course, you can click on that. And of course, it's got the blue line because it's only been up for about a minute and it's already connected. So we're good to go. That's it, guys. It'll tell you if it goes down. Um, and of course, you can create automations based on that if that's what you want to do. Other than that, that is the end of the video, guys. Uh, let's do a quick rundown of uh, everything we covered in this video. So for starters, of course, we installed Amazon Dash. Okay, uh, next we created a test script that we used uh, to test our new Dash button with. Uh, once that was done, we uh, searched for our MAC address of the Dash button and showed you how to do that. After we have the MAC address, we added our dash button to the local wireless network there that we'll be using. Uh, once we got all that done, we edited the uh, Amazon dash config file. And of course, once we got that done, we tested out that new dash button script that we set up. And of course, lastly, is just a couple of extra things. I showed you how to set up a binary sensor to monitor the new Dash service. And I showed you what that looked like in action. All right, guys, like I said, that is the end of this video. I hope this video helped. Uh, as you can see, the Amazon Dash buttons are cheap, uh, so they're great uh, as far as price goes. Um, not super awesome as far as uh, being able to uh, use them for a lot of different stuff with the 5 to 10 second delay that you'll have with them. But uh, for running like uh, events and stuff like that where you're just uh, maybe setting uh, movie lighting or something like that, they should work pretty good. Uh, guys, uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.